Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today I want to talk about mods, deck mods. So I want to talk about the decks that I've modded and how I go about doing it. So if you want to see more, stay tuned and I'll see you in a second. All right, let's talk about the first deck that I ever modded. The first deck I ever modded was my Antique Anatomy. Now, this is not the first Antique Anatomy that came out. It's the second run, so with a little bit better cardstock. I did end up getting that first one with a really horrible cardstock. This one's okay. Um, what I did is I took Crayola Marker, and I went over every card individually. And then I took a gold Sharpie and went over some of it just like sporadically like this thinking it would give it a cool edging look. And to be honest, I really hate it. <laughs> it looks crappy. Um, I know I posted it in a Facebook group, but and people loved it, but I absolutely hate it. So I'm hoping now that I have a better technique of edging that I'm going to go over it again and fix it because I really don't like it. And it's kind of put me off from using my deck, which really sucks because I have a whole bunch of Claire Goodchild decks and I actually love this deck. I just hate my edging job. So here's to redoing it, hopefully in the, in the soon close future. But yeah, that's the Antique Anatomy. Um, the next deck that I modded was a full mod. This is one that I trimmed and edged and I did a good job. Um, this is where I figured out how I'm gonna edge decks. So I followed the boho tarot way of doing things and I bought the trimmer, um, the corner edger and everything. And I bought like the little geometry kit or whatever that kids use in school. And I did everything exactly the way she does it. So um, yeah, go check out boho tarot if you wanna know exactly how to trim a deck. She does an awesome job and teaches you step by step on how to do it. And I followed hers on how to do this specific deck. Just because the way they print the, the... Oh, and by the way, this is the Druid's Craft. The way they printed it, not every card was exactly even on the borders. So, like, some I had to, like, mess with a little bit. Um, but I did a pretty good job taking off the big borders. Um, I know some people cut off the bottoms. I definitely don't know this deck very well. So, I left the bottoms on. Um, some people go right into this little green line here. I didn't. I chose to leave a little bit so it would be more even when I was doing it. Um, but this is when I figured out exactly how to mod. So the way that I mod is I've learned to take... I have a whole bunch of these Tombow brush markers. And this is now what I use to edge. After I did a crappy job with my Antique Anatomy, I switched to these. I have the full set and then I have some doubles because I had bought packs. So some I have doubles, so I'm using my doubles first for the most part um, to edge my deck. So this is what I use now. Um, but yeah, so this was the first good mod that I did. I think I went over each card like twice with the same color and it turned out pretty good and pretty even. So that was my first good mod. It's the only deck I've trimmed sides off of. I don't have any that off the top of my head that I think I'm going to trim. Um, but you never know. I can't think of any right now, but I'm sure there's one or two that I want to trim sides. Um, the next one that I did was the Sasurai Bito pocket deck. I did this in a really nice red. This is a really nice linen cardstock. So I did this in a deep red. And it turned out pretty good. It's held up really well. I used this deck a ton. Um, so, so far it's held up really well and I haven't found, I've been getting, like, I know some people say, depending on the markers they use, they get a little bit that comes off on their hands when they use it. I haven't had any trouble with this one yet. Um, so for me, the Tombow has worked really well. So that's my Sasurai Beto, um, pocket. The full size has gold gilding on it. 
but I really like the red for the mini. Um, the next two I did, I did at the same time. And you'll see why here. This is the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. Um, what I did was I picked the color, and this is the other thing. When you're picking colors, sometimes it's really hard. So what I did with the pocket, I really like this blue star effect in the middle of the back. Um, so I edged this one in blue. And again, I used my Tombow markers to edge this. I think it's really well. Like, I haven't really used this deck at all, actually. Um, I haven't studied it yet, but I wanted to get it modded as soon as I got in so that I'd be ready to use it when I was ready. So that's the Dreams of Gaia pocket. That's in my own homemade blue bag for it. Um, and then this is the Big Dreams of Gaia in the purple. So this actually is one deck that maybe in the future I would trim down after I got used to it. Um, you never know. Maybe I would trim off the black sides to make it a little bit more manageable. Um, you know, we'll see. Um, I did edge it in this really nice dark purple to start. Um, but maybe down in the future when I'm using it more and I'm studying it, maybe I'll feel the need to cut off the black borders. You never know. We'll see. And then I would just re-edge it again after maybe I tore up the edges. But so far, the edges came out really nice. I did it in this dark purple to match the backs, and I'm really enjoying that. Like I said, I haven't studied with it yet, so I haven't really used it, but I do enjoy that color match. Okay, and the ones that I actually just did in the last couple of days, haven't showed this deck yet, um, I just, just got this deck in and I went right to town and edged it immediately when I got it, um, and this is the Happy Tarot, and I went ahead and did a Lisa Papaz thing, I've always wanted this deck, but I just kept taking it on and off my wish list, and I ended up deciding to get it after watching Lisa's adorable, my adorable decks video. So I did like her, and I edged it in different purples, so I'm excited to shuffle it and see what it's going to look like shuffled. Um, but this is definitely with my newer technique that I'm going to show you in a minute. But yeah, that's the Happy Tarot. I put it in this bag, and we'll see if I like the bag. I think it's actually a pretty good match now that I'm looking more at it with the colors of the title of the box. I think it's a not bad bag match. And I'm actually really, really proud of this edge job. I've been meaning to edge this deck and I just haven't gotten around to it. Now, this is the Gentle Tarot Linen Edition. The regular and the pocket are gonna come with gold gilding. Um, but this one, let me take out the cards that we don't need. Um, these are like ex explanation cards, so I didn't edge those yet. I don't know if I'm going to or not. I may just leave them blank so that I know what they are. Um, but I did edge it in the colors of the suits. So the majors are purple. I think I edged it really well. Um, and then you have the cups are blue. Thunder is yellow. And we have an orangey red for wands and green for stones. Um, and I think I did a really, really good job edging these. Um, again, I'm going to show you the technique that I use for these because I've changed it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think this Gentle Tarot turned out really well. I'm really, really proud of it. And I'm super excited to get that shuffled and see what it's going to look like shuffled. I just did that in the last couple of days. And I was waiting to get in a little mini Oracle that I just got in to use with it until my Reclaim Oracle comes in. So that's that. So what I wanna show you is the deck that I'm currently working on and I'm gonna show you my process of how I do it. This is a deck I'm currently working on. 
So these are the cards that are done, that are finished. Now this is the Good Karma Tarot. Um, these are the backs and this is how I'm edging it. And it's a nice like orange color. So it's a little bit darker than the design of the orangey yellow on the back. I thought it would give it a nice pop. And it matches the bag really well. So what I did to begin was I took, there's these two Tombos is what I'm using, the 925 and 933. So when you're looking at it, this one here, the 933 is a little bit lighter, lighter and the 925 is darker. So what I initially did was I took the whole deck, put it all together, and just did the edges. Now, these are glossy cardstock, so I was able to wipe it away really easy when I came across the cards because I was doing it in one night. Then, what I do after is I take the darker one and I go over card by card. What I do is I do all my corners, swipe over them twice, and then I swipe over the edges again twice, each edge, card by card by card. So this is what I've currently been working on. So I'm going to show you a quick process on a deck that I'm planning to do next. And we are going to pick out the colors together. I thought that would be fun. So the deck that I want to do next. I have a couple more decks that I've been meaning to mod. So I'm taking the time now to kind of go through some processes. Is my Disney villain. So this is the bag match. It's a little more magenta than the box because that is the color on the backs. So these are the backs. So I thought I was picking it up really well with this. This is the inside of the box. So if you haven't seen it, which I'm sure you have because everybody's seen Disney Villains. <laughs> this is Disney Villains. So you've got a mix of like Pip and actually illustrated pip the cup suit is really pippish i think out of any of the suits the most pippish um as you can see but this is and you can see like it's mostly still in order because i haven't even really used it yet yeah at all i haven't i've been waiting to actually mod it um but yeah so that's the disney villains um, I love all the Aladdin cards and the Little Mermaid. I think that's great. Um, there's a lot of characters in here that I'm assuming are from newer movies that I don't really know. Um, but there's a good majority I do know. So, what I do first is I bring out my cup of colors here. Oops. And my cup of colors is this cup of my Tombos. So what I would do in this deck is pick out the colors that I think are really going to go. So right off the top of my head, I'm loving this one. This matches the bag and this one. So then what I might do is pick out another color that's maybe a little lighter, a little darker to go underneath it or above it. But I'm really liking this bright magenta but this also kind of matches a little bit so what i might do is go over it with this one and then go over card by card with this one so what i would do is i would take my deck and this one's more matte so i'm hoping it's going to work the same way as like my good karma one and I would just start doing this. Now, I know Boho Tarot, Don Michelle says not to do this because it will get on your cards. Um, I think it depends on how picky you are. I'm not overly picky. If a little bit of pink gets on the cards, it is what it is. The edges around this are also dark. So that's definitely helping me be more comfortable. Like I would never do this on a white deck. But anything with a white edge or white background, I probably wouldn't edge anyways. That's just me. So this is what I would do. Is I would do this all along my edges. Till I felt like I got a good solid 
coat going. And I would just do up my edges like this. And then again on this side. And I would go around the entire deck. And do that process. Then, and I'm going to show you on my Good Karma. Take the darker marker. And do all four corners. And do it like this twice. And then go along the sides twice. Sometimes three times. But usually at least twice. And that's how I edge my decks now. And I've done that with like two or three different decks now. So I feel comfortable with that process. So yeah, so that's how I've been modding my decks. I haven't been cutting too many up. But I have been working on edging them. So I hope you guys appreciated that. And I just realized I didn't have my microphone plugged in. So I hope the sound quality is okay on this video. But uh, that's how I did it. So until next time, I'll see you around TarotTube, the interwebs, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook group, and here at TarotNet Plans. Bye, guys.